to Saquon Barkley in the passing game. Three receptions, 52 yards, and a touchdown. Second half kickoff is taken out by Pringle. Out across the 30. Did he fumble? Ball came loose. Giants say they have it. Officials will look to get to the bottom of the pile. It's Giants football. It's the third Washington turnover today. I thought he might have been down before, after the ball came out. Officials are saying otherwise. Byron Pringle. Ball looks like it's coming out. Looks like it's coming out. Elbows down. And then, yeah, there's the ball out. Clearly recovered by the Giants. All turnovers are reviewed. All right, he's going down. The hit by McLeod, who had an interception in the first half. The recovery by the rookie. Javarius Owens. Yeah, McLeod forces that fumble, and it's been confirmed. That is a fumble. Third one today for the Commanders. Gives the Giants great field position. They're about five yards away already from being in field goal range. So the Commanders had an opportunity at the end of the first Ooh. half, could not score. Now they turn it over, and it's the seventh sack of DeVito today, Casey Tuhill with his fifth of the season. You just can't do that, Tommy DeVito. You understand it's a quick throw. Everyone is releasing out there. That's it, throw the ball away. If it's not open, throw it away. You can't give up a sack. Casey Tuhill loved that he kept going with the play. Wasn't gonna make it if they threw it out there. Gets a nice sack. Loss of seven. Okay. Right, right, right. right. Five sacks for Washington in the first quarter. <laughs> now seven in the game. DeVito firing downfield. And it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of Sterling Shepard. Down to Shannon. Well, perfect lead into my report, Kenny, because I did ask Brian Dable about those sacks in the first half, and he kind of spread the blame. He said yes a little bit on Tommy DeVito, but the offensive line skilled guys, he said everybody needs to play a little bit better. But he does like the way his defense has been playing, and he thinks Tommy DeVito has been really tough out there. Good team football is what he called it. I did ask Ron Rivera about the sacks. I also asked him about the big plays that they've been giving up defensively, and he said third down is killing us. Without Curtis Samuel, they're absolutely going to have to adjust, but Sam Howell is okay after taking those big hits. Sack number eight, Jonathan Allen. There was nothing special about this. Jonathan Allen just rips through for this sack. Going against Justin Pugh, they like Justin Pugh's professionalism, but on that play, he gets beat like a drum. Jonathan Allen showing his athleticism, showing his ability. That's a way for the commander's defense to step up after a turnover by the offense, or excuse me, by the special teams. Credit to the Giants defense. They've been responding as well with their sacks and their pressures up front too. Commanders start from the eight-yard line. Pass caught by Robinson. And he swallowed up after a short game, just one. And that's been the difference of the offenses. One offense, the commanders, they'll throw it quickly. They're trying to get the ball out quickly. They understand that the offensive line is struggling right now to block that front four. On the flip side, the Giants offense is going to have to do the same. Wick Martindale is understanding they're going to go quickly. Now it becomes a chess match where I can start sitting in zone and then have my team rally up and make those tackles. Second down and nine. Dotson in motion. There's Robinson. Robinson out to the 14-yard line. It will be third down. And four coming up for the Commanders, who trail by five, quickly back up to the line. Hey, hey, 
Sunday set. 34. Howell under pressure from Dexter Lawrence. Looks to run for the first down. He's got it. And more. Up the sideline. And finally out of bounds. After 35. Howell scrambles for 26 yards. Longest run of the season for the Washington QB. It started to look really good for the Giants. Dexter Lawrence does what he's been doing all season long, getting pressure. And that was great individual effort by Sam Howell, avoiding the rush of Dexter Lawrence and wrapping back around outside and getting a nice gain for a first down. Here we go, 15. On 80, set. Up the middle, out to the 39-yard line. Rodriguez. And it's been, been a very interesting. I talked about the chess match between Eric Bieniemy and Wink Martindale. I've noticed every time Dexter Lawrence is on the sideline, that's when Eric Bieniemy decides he wants to run right up the gut of that Giants defense. And Wink Martindale looking on, he's going to have to get Dexter Lawrence back in because that run game for the Washington Commanders may start to really bode well and wear down this Giants defense. Second down and six. Quick out to De'Ami Brown. There's Dexter Lawrence. He's getting a breather. He had such a nice rush. Those big guys, they need that at little time, but Boy, they need to get him back out there ASAP. Him, Thibodeau's on the sideline as well. They all need to get back in this game, hold this commander's offense. 15. 15. 180, set. From the 46, it's Robinson. Commanders over 100 yards on the ground today. Third quarter point differential, Commanders plus 11 this season. Been really good, and I'd say the best thing that we just saw was the Giants had a chance for a field goal opportunity. They get sacked out of that. Now the Commanders, they're coming down, moving the ball down the field. Eighth in the NFL, scoring points. This is their time to try to make separation or get separation from the Giants. Suck it down at nine, flag. Howell throws it away. Offside. Defense, number 98. Moved into the neutral zone prior to the snap. Five yard penalty. Suck it down. That's DJ Davidson, the first accepted penalty today. The others were offsetting. And this one's not too hard. You'll see DJ Davidson, the hard count, definitely in the neutral zone. And as soon as they see that, Dexter Lawrence says, oh, my time to get back in. DJ Davidson on the sideline. Thibodeau's back in as well. Go, go right, go right. I got this. You good? Hey, come, come on. on. You good? Here we go. 4-1. Second down and four. On 80, set. <laughs> From the Giants, 48 off the play fake, catch made by Rodriguez. And he will pick up the commander's first down to the Giants' 43-yard line. Very methodical, very fit, efficient from this offense. This has been a nice-looking drive for them. They've mixed up the run. They've gotten some passes. Nothing really big except Sam Howell with the nice long scramble. Everything else has been, you know, five yards, six yards, but it, it's working. Hey, Wes! That was the first catch of the season for the rookie Rodriguez. Eighth play of the drive. Commander started back at their eight yard line. Howell under pressure again from Thibodeau. Now he throws and it's caught at the 36 yard line. By the tight end, Bates. Second down and three. This drive is really wearing down the defensive line for the Giants. I see Thibodeau going back out to the sideline. 
They're starting to roll in fresh bodies. Dane Belton, he's been going in for Cordell Fly. He's a safety now. Him and Darnay Holmes are switching up. Let's go. Yeah, if you notice, there's some backups right now for the defensive line. That'll give the commanders an opportunity. This Washington drive over five minutes. Yeah. Rodriguez up the middle for another commander's first down. Yeah. How about this comparison? Wow. Did not expect that. No rushing yards for the Giants. 109 for the commanders. And you see it's starting to take its toll on that Giants defensive front. So no rushing yards. Your quarterback's been sacked eight times, and you have the lead. <laughs> Can't make this up, right? Never know what to expect in an NFC East matchup. <laughs> Never. Howell looking downfield. He fires to the end zone, and it's too far for Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas is sitting right in line at the tight end and you get surprised by his speed. He is fast. He has a long stride, tall wide, tall tight end. Just love the way that he has progressed. Used to be a quarterback, has now made himself into a legitimate target at that tight end spot. Sam Howell and he have a great connection. Tuck it down at 10 on the delay. It's Robinson runs into the arms of Micah McFadden. Shannon. Yeah, the 10 year vet, Logan Thomas, as you mentioned, playing quarterback at Virginia Tech. How many times this week did we hear Logan is the best friend to the quarterback? I did ask him about that pregame, and he said, absolutely. He said, when I was playing quarterback, he said, I 1,000% thought my tight end was my best friend. He said, the key is to just always keep my eyes on Sam Howell. Just let him know that I'm open. The receivers are running down the field but I can be right well, there. He once threw an 81-yard touchdown pass for the Arizona Cardinals. Commanders facing a third down and 11. Powell sets up the screen. Davis and Crowder stopped about six yards shy of the marker, so the Commanders will send out the field goal unit. Remember, the Giants held them to three back in the first quarter. They were inside the five-yard line and now a long drive 12 plays 68 yards Giants defense keeps Washington out of the end zone once again yeah, one of those cliches the bend don't break type of defenses that's what the Giants have been doing so far they give up some yards in between the red zones when it's time to clamp down they do 42 yard attempts line missed an extra point earlier this kick is good this is pretty damn good that I'm always so glued in when I was playing and it would just be go to the game go up to the suite and you know, it was a nice experience there is a flag an eligible player downfield offense number 79 five yard penalty first down Thanksgiving coming up this Thursday. Jonathan, what was it like playing on Thanksgiving Day with the Saints? Aside from playing in the playoffs and the Super Bowl, there was nothing like it. Playing on Thanksgiving, you know that all eyes were on you. I played against the Dallas Cowboys, and we actually ended up winning on a field goal at the end. It was a great experience. We enjoyed it. Enjoyed the turkey afterwards. Everything about playing on Thanksgiving, it lived up to the hype. Really enjoyed that moment. I'll be watching football this Thanksgiving as DeVito fires downfield. Incomplete. He was looking for Hyatt with Kendall Fuller defending. Hyatt. He's a speed guy. Tommy DeVito recognizes that, wants to throw one out there. It's one on one coverage. That was great coverage, really, by Kendall Fuller. And he kind of had a point. Jalen Hyland's grabbing all over him. I mean, you can't do that as a corner. Why should he? Second down at 15. Sack number nine for the Washington Commanders. Deron Payne in there once again. 
along with Jamin Davis. Jack that real has loved sending Jamin Davis and watch the whiff by Saquon Barkley. He wants no part of this. Boom, nice move. Gets in there and gets the sack. That you've got to be better. You got to help your guy out. Dable is keeping you in so that they can stop sacking their guy. They get there anyway. It's a nice job by the defense. Third sack for Davis this season. Seven different commanders involved in the nine sacks. Four down and 22. The push to take the lead for the first time this afternoon. There's Hudson. We suspected he got a piece of that punt. It was confirmed. So the commanders start from their 23. 15, 15. 180. Howell handing it off. Robinson on first down. Turns on the Jets. Ryan Robinson still on his feet. Out across the 40. Dexter Lawrence is back in, so they go outside. Kayvon Thibodeau that time loses the edge. Him, Bobby Okereke can't get there. And Brian Robinson runs tough. Eric Bieniemy said Brian Robinson has that dog in him. Oh, no. Super competitive. He's looking to break the big one every time he touches the ball. Second season out of Alabama. Robinson hey, alert, gave 18. Here we go. Here we go. 180. Set. From the 41, it's Robinson again, but this time nothing as he was taken down by. Now flipping over to Sam Howell. He's also been beat up a little bit. He had a nice run there. It takes a shot. Looks like he got cut. And this one is what started to skirmish. Loved his toughness, man. He went down for a little bit. Went in the blue tent, came back out. Obviously, he's playing, so he's good enough to go. But look at the dropbacks, the sacks, the pressures on both quarterbacks. Got to give a lot of credit to these defenses. It's only a 14-12 game because these two defenses have stepped up. Second down and 10, pass over the middle. Caught by the tight end, Thomas, out at the 49. Under two minutes remaining, third quarter. 127 rushing yards for the Commanders. Giants have only run the ball eight times. I'm sure Ron Rivera is sitting there thinking, how are we losing this game? Well, he turned the ball over three times. He gave up two big plays on defense. Other than that, it's been good football. We're down at two. It's Rodriguez. Chris Rodriguez inside the Giants, 35. Gain of 16. That's a nice switch-up call by Eric Bieniemy. Third and two, you usually see pass. They had the highest pass percentage of any offense in the NFL. Instead, he goes right up the gut of this Giants defense. Wink Barndale calling some pressures off the edge. Leaves the middle wide open for Chris Rodriguez. 41! 15, 15. 180, set. From the Giants, 35, it's Rodriguez again. Oh, oh. Lost the football. <laughs> Giants recover wow. the fourth Washington turnover. He's fighting for extra yard. On the toss, it's Barkley. There's some positive yardage for the Giants on the ground. Still going. Wow. Giants had no yards rushing this entire game coming into that play. And that's the scary thing about Saquon Barkley. Any time he touches the ball, he's a threat to go the distance. As soon as he gets a little space, look how quickly he burst through the hole. They had no rushing yards before that. He goes out there and gets a big gain. 36 yards on that run. He Just had three rushes think? earlier, Jonathan, for negative yardage, but breaks free on the final play of the third quarter. I was just about to say, just when you think you've had him contained, you corralled him, shoots.